Alrighty, so today I'm going to be talking about one of the most common questions we're getting on Instagram right now, and that is Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland. Will it take place? Is it going to happen this year? I'm going to give you guys my opinions and my insight on what's going to happen this Halloween haunt or this season, um, and definitely want to hear from you guys down in the comment section what you guys think could be happening at Halloween Haunt. I'm going to try and respond to everyone. I am so focused on the giveaway right now, so for those of you who don't know, we just released our Are the Rides at Canada's Wonderland Safe video describing everything that's been trending on social media lately, so if you haven't watched it, head on over there. There's a huge giveaway, so you'll learn about how to participate in that, and uh, for those of you that don't know, we actually even have a Patreon. I'm going to link that down below. So if you want to support us on Patreon um, for some awesome content uh, over the winter season and leading into even better content in 2022, definitely support us on Patreon down below. Now let's get right into the video. Do I think Halloween Haunt is going to take place, place this year at Canada's Wonderland? Well, that's actually a lot more complicated than you think. I do think a form of Halloween Haunt will take place this fall. I don't think it's going to be Halloween Haunt. That is really hard for me to say, as we know a lot of the people that work at Halloween Haunt, and they're amazing people, and even making a prediction video on whether it's going to take place or not is an extremely difficult conversation to have, because I know it's going to upset people that both work for Halloween Haunt and people that were really looking forward to Halloween Haunt. Um, so with what's going on and what happened in our sister parks in their first year of operations, um, Halloween Haunt did not take place at a lot of the Cedar Fair parks, if any. I don't know that for sure, so I'm just going to say a lot, because I know it didn't take place at Cedar Point. They went with a different fall festival, and I think that Canada's Wonderland is going to go down that route as well. I think that they'll still be open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, on weekends in fall. I know that they haven't posted their schedule. A lot of people have been like, well, does Wonderland close on September 6th? Um, the answer is no. Uh, Cedar Point did the same thing in its first year after COVID. It didn't post their fall schedule, and then closer to, they released it. Canada's Wonderland will do the same, um, and uh, there definitely will be weekend operations, and the coasters will be running, and uh, whether there'll be haunted houses or scare zones is the question that's up for debate. So I do think that Wonderland will decorate a little bit. I don't think they're going to go extreme like they normally do. I think you'll see some fog machines and some typical decorations throughout the park. And I think if we're really lucky, there could be some scare zones and maybe some of their Halloween haunt mazes outdoors. Like, um, oh, God, I don't even know the name of it anymore. The, scare, the Scarecrow one. I'm going to get dragged in the comments for not remembering this name. It's one of my favorites. And the fact that I don't remember it. Um, but yeah, um, corn stalkers, there we go. So I do think that there's a potential that corn stalkers could be open, um, since it's an outdoor attraction, but I think that with, you know, the staffing challenges that are facing every business in North America right now, that it could be difficult to hire as much, uh, people to run every haunted house. And I think their focus will be the rides and, um, some just decorated areas. And I think that they'll have like a kid's festival during the day. Again, no haunted houses, just trick or treating outdoors um, and I think that's going to be the direction and I'm okay with that anything that it rem keeps Wonderland still open and operating is a perfect for me you have these other amazing haunted attractions that are run by families locally that you could go out and support this year we know um, there's quite a few farms that do some amazing events that we're going to check out this year as well. Um, so definitely you could check out those if they're still operating. And Wonderland will still have, you know, some food, the rides. I do think they're going to have some entertainment. I think that they could still have some entertainment. It seems like they've made that a focus even right now. They're adding even more singers around the park. Um, so that's just been truly awesome to see. So that would be... To be honest, that would be my prediction for Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland is a, a much more low scale event than what you're used to. Maybe no indoor haunted houses and just outdoor attractions only. And uh, I definitely think that, um, yeah, we'll be lucky to see that. And again, I'm going, all the information I'm going off of is, is basically um, word of <laughs> birds in my ear, um, the sister parks and what they did. And um, just seeing there's no signs of any Halloween haunt prep going on. 
Um, I would love to be extremely wrong and all the haunted houses open this year, but I can confirm, so a lot of people are worried, that Halloween Haunt will exist in some sort of extent. Cedar Fair is desperate to make money, um, they have a lot of debt they need to pay off, and they're even adding operation days at parks like Cedar Point. So I wouldn't be surprised if Canada's Wonderland maybe even added a Thursday day as well, and again, doesn't have to be haunted houses, just an operating day for people to come and spend money in the park. Anything extra to help pay off some debt and add operating days to the calendar to make up for what um, they lost in revenue is something that I see a, a chain like Cedar Fair doing. So don't fret, you will see Halloween Haunt and you will see some sort of form of Winterfest as well. It just may not be what you're used to and it may not be the full-blown event. Anyways, I definitely just wanted to come out and make a video about this because it's been a very common question in our DMs um, and I just wanted to give out my thoughts. I probably will make an update video on this in about three weeks would be a good time where I can give you a better understanding of what's going to happen with Halloween Haunt. Um, I just need to wait to hear a few things first before I make another update video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but for now, this is all I can say on Halloween Haunt and Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland. Again, it will happen. It just won't happen. What we're used to is my prediction. Um, anyways, if you still have any questions and I didn't answer them in this video, comment down below and I will try and answer any questions, comments, or concerns that you may have uh, to the best of my my ability. Again, as always, I do not work for Canada's Wonderland and my answers could vary from the actual results. So please take anything I say in these prediction videos with a grain of salt. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you had an amazing weekend um, and hopefully you have an amazing Monday. Thanks for watching guys and thanks for supporting our other video and getting the message out. The video has so many shares and so many people are entering in that contest. It's crazy. So keep sharing, keep posting, keep commenting. It's an amazing giveaway. We're giving away, again, fast lanes, some Squishmallows, and some Amusement Insiders merch of your choice. So thanks so much for participating in that. Um, it's probably my first biggest giveaway I've done. That's like a really big giveaway. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm rambling. I need to cut this video now because I could ramble for hours. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Bye.